Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's BJ and today we're going to have another science read aloud. And for today, the book is called What If You Had Animal Eyes? If you have this book, please bring it out so that we can read together. So let's begin. What if one day when you woke up, the eyes on your face weren't yours? What if overnight a wild animal's eyes took their place? Just imagine, just imagine like once you woke up and then your eyes weren't your eyes, like normal people eyes. Just imagine there were some other animal's eyes. So let's begin. Chameleon. A chameleon's eyes stick out like twin telescopes. These cone-shaped bumps are actually fused together eyelids. Yes, they're not actually part of the eyes. They're just eyelids. It's just that they can't, uh, you know... Open and close like our eyelids. They're different. That are open just enough to peek through. This limits the chameleon's view. But these eyes can do something tricky. Each eye moves separately. Yes, that is true. Each eye moves separately. So that you mean like it means like one eye can go uh, right side, look right side. And the other one could look left side. It's like that. That way, the chameleon can look for prey, such as crickets, in two directions at once. Fact, when a chameleon spots prey, it focuses both eyes on it. That way, it doesn't miss catching a meal. See, uh, chameleons are very great predators. Um, but the prey is very unlucky if it gets caught in the eye of a chameleon. Let's move on. If you had chameleon eyes, you could look around the toy store fast to find exactly what you want. That would be pretty useful for me because sometimes I really need to look at lots of things and they take so much time to look. So let's move on. Golden Eagle. A golden eagle has laser sharp vision. That means it could look so like it could look more clearly than us. This bird can see up to eight times better than most people. And it doesn't spoil its vision by looking at telephones, TVs, or anything. It, it can also spot its prey up to two miles away. In a flash, a golden eagle can shift its eye from focusing on something far away to, uh, to something up close. This is perfect for keeping an eagle eye on end and catching a fast hopping rabbit. Yes, these um these are golden eagles are also very great predators. They're not like chameleons. Like each predator is different. Golden eagles um have a vision, and chameleons they just move their eyes separate. Fact: A golden eagle's eyes have a third eyelid that uh, sweeps across the eyes like windshield wipers, keeping them clean. Wow, that's cool. If you had golden eagle eyes, you could sit up high in the stadium and still see the football game. That is actually super cool. You know, most of the time, you sometimes get picked as the person who sees the seats in the back, right? So if you um, have these eyes, you can see clearly so well. Let's move on. Dragonfly. A dragonfly's eyes are huge. They have to be because each dragonfly eye has up to 310,000 tiny lenses. A human eye has only one. Scientists aren't sure how dragonfly's brain creates images from all of those lenses. But they do believe having so many lenses lets the dragonfly spot movement fast. If um, scientists wants to figure this out, then they need to have dragonfly eyes. That's how a dragonfly can see a flying mosquito in time to catch it. Fact, a dragonfly has three small uh, extra eyes that help guide its flight path by sensing bright lights and shadows. Yes, those eyes are teeny tiny. They're like full stops. Let's move on. If you had dragonfly eyes, you would be star reporter because you would never miss any of the action. Whoa, that's some crazy zoo over there. Let's just move on. A clouded leopard's eyes have a special mirror-like layer at the back. This layer uh, reflects light back through the retina, the part of the eye packed with light-sensing cells. This helps the clouded leopard see well in the dim light at mid-time. That mirror-like layer is also what makes the clouded leopard's eyes seem to glow. 
So yes, this kind of leopard is like a really great predator as well. Like all of these are predators that are super good because of their eyesight. So yeah, let's move on to the fact. Fact. The clouded leopard has slit-shaped pupils, opening where the light enters the eye. These can expand about a hundred uh, times to let more light in. A human's uh, round pupil can only expand about ten times. That's how the leopard can see well. If you had clouded leopard eyes, you would never be surprised in a dark haunted house. Yes, see in this picture, it's like... Three kids can't really see where they're going. They're a bit afraid because of what might happen next. But this girl is casually going because she has clouded leopard eyes. Let's move on. Bullfrog. A bullfrog's eyes are on top of its head. So the frog can hide underwater and still watch out for enemies. Its eyes are also wide apart. That way, a bullfrog can see nearly all the way around itself without turning its head. But these eyes also help a bullfrog do more than just see. When a bullfrog swallows, it closes its eyes. It, uh, its eyes sink down through opening in the skull and helps uh, push the meal down its throat. Fact. A bullfrog's eyes each have a third see-through eyelid. When a, a bullfrog dives underwater, these eyelids slide over its eye. It's the perfect built-in swim goggles. I would really want one of those, you know, so that because I don't really have swim goggles, so and I love going underwater and seeing what's beneath it. So this would be very, very useful. If you had bullfrog eyes, a blink would just let you swallow a big bite. That's cool. Let's move on to the next one. It's really cool, actually. Four-eyed fish. Yes, you heard it right, four-eyed fish. A four-eyed fish really has only two eyes, but each eye has two different parts. Each, part, each of these four parts um, have its own pupil. This fish ha uh, keeps half of its eye underwater looking for insects and smaller fish it eats. It keeps the other half of the eye above the water, watching for birds and other predators that are after a fish dinner. Yes, that's true. Like, half of its eye, like, goes underwater and the other half goes up to see if there's any predators coming to eat it. Let's move on to the fact. Fact. A four-eyed fish usually travels in groups called schools. So, there, there are always a lot of eyes watching in every direction. That's true. Let's see what the example is. If you had four-eyed fish... Uh, eyes you could read while riding your bike and never take your eyes off the road that's cool because i love reading and i love riding my bike let's move on yellow mongoose a yellow mongoose's eyes have rectangular pupils that give it a very wide view of its will that means the mongoose can easily spot insects and lizards to catch and eat it also keeps watch for hunters such as jackals sneaking up from far left or right when there is danger. Its special eyes also help it spot escape routes. The yellow mongoose is mainly active during the daytime when it can see the best. Fact. To see farther and peek up over bushes, the yellow mongoose stand up on its toe on its hind feet. That's how it sees over bushes. Let's move on. If you had yellow mango size, you would always win in laser tag. That seems fun. I would love winning because I love winning. And so if I had yellow mango size, that would be great in laser tag. Let's move on. Colossal squid. A colossal squid has the biggest eyes in the world. Each eye is as big as a soccer ball. <laughs> That's cool. At the black of each eye, it's part that produces its own eyes. It's like having built-in flashlights, awesome, that are always on glowing brightly. This makes it easy for colossal squids to find fish to eat, even though it lives deep down in the ocean where it's always dark. Yes, like the colossal squid lives in the midnight or twilight zone. Those are the most, like, darkest zones ever. Fact. Scientists can take photos of 
living colossal squid because they live so deep underwater. Our closest peak is seeing their cousin, the giant squid, but their eyes can't produce light. That's not fair. Okay, let's just move on. If you had colossal squid eyes, you could go on nighttime hikes without a flashlight. Look at the other two people. They have to have a flashlight, and if the battery goes out, they can't see anything. But this girl has colossal squid uh, eyes so that she can see anywhere, and she still has a flashlight in her eyes. That's cool. Let's move on. Llama. A llama has black bubble-like crystal uh, that form a fringe at the top and bottom of its pupil. Where the light enters the eyes, in the bright sunlight, these crystals turn into bands and stretch across the pupils. These bands block so much light from entering the llama's eyes. That's, uh, that is it like having a built-in super dark glasses. That's cool. I love sunglasses. And the problem is I don't like wearing them because they're so, you know, dark and all. But this, this kind of built-in sunglasses are awesome. A llama's thick bushy eyelashes also make great sunshades. Cool. I like llamas. Fact. A llama's extra long eyelashes uh, let it feel when it's getting close to something so it doesn't get poked in the eye. If you had llama eyes, you wouldn't be blinded by the bright spotlights during your big solo. Cool. Let's move on. Desert Horned Wiper. The desert horn wiper's eyes have clear eyelids that do not open or close. Uh, that means the snake cannot blink to clean its eyes, but it doesn't need to. Its eyelids work like safety goggles because it lives in hot deserts. The wiper usually waits until it's cooler at night so it can go hunting. Then the snake slit shape eye uh, pupil open wide so it can find a mouse or lizard for dinner. I wouldn't want any of those. Fact. Each time a desert horned wiper slits its scaly skin for a new one, it gets new, clearer eyelids too. Wow, that's cool. If you had horned wiper eyes, you wouldn't need safety goggles to do your science experiment. That's cool, except that I do like wearing those. So, Tazir is the next one. A tazir's eyes are a huge part of its little body. Its giant eyes and large pupils are perfect for hunting tiny insects during dark nights. A tazir can't move its eyes because of how its skull bone supported them. Luckily, it can turn its head far er enough to look over its so shoulders and see what's behind it. That way, it can keep an eye out for predators such as wild cats and large snakes. Fact. Each of the Tazir's eyes, uh, giant eyes, weighs more than its brain. That's cool. Let's move on. If you had Tazir eyes, you could easily watch for baseball stealers in time to throw at them. Awesome. Let's move on. Wild animal eyes could be fun for a while, but you don't need your eyes to light the way or to look in two different directions at once. And you never use your eyes to spot something two miles away or help you swallow your dinner. So, if you could keep wild animal eyes for more than a day, which kind would you would be right for you? I don't know. I like most of them. Let's move on, though. Luckily, you don't have to choose because your eyes will always be people eyes. That uh, that will be what you need to read books, check out stars at night, and see the people you love all the time. Cool. I like people eyes the most, actually. So, that's the end of this book. I hope you like it. Please subscribe to my channel and also... Um, please get the books of all the, uh, of all the books I have read so far. Just get the actual copy of the book because it's much more fun reading it that way. So I hope you will watch my other videos. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.